Well, you've got the Dennis Seaver fight coming up. This was a fight that was supposed to happen. Uh, how do you feel about it being rescheduled and finally going to happen? Uh, initially, I was like, ah, oh, let him go do something else. You know, I was over it. But uh, when I talked to UFC, they were like, hey, this is this is the best fight for you right now. And I uh, I didn't want to sit on the bench. You know, I I'm I'm just entering my prime, so I want to fight and I want the most exciting fights and and. Uh, you know, he, he's definitely a potential, uh, you know, matchup for me to get a fight of the night. So You seem very hungry as of late, very determined to make your uh, stretch for the title here. Uh, what are, What is your goal? What are you focused on right now in this fight to get there? Uh, making money. You know, I, uh, you know, that's always been what I didn't want to get, but uh, I'm just enjoying it. And I'm finally making a little bit of money, and I'm, I'm not blowing it. You know, I, I bought myself a house, and, uh, you know, I still drive an older car with no AC, but I have a house because I saved, you know. And I, uh, I know this doesn't last forever, and I'm cherishing every minute of it. And uh, so every time I get in there, I just want to maximize uh, my star power and, and, and my, my income so that uh, the rest of my life I can just... You know, live quietly. I'm surprised you would say that you kind of wanted Dennis to find another fight because on paper this does look like one that, hey, these guys are early candidate for fight of the night already. Yeah, well, I just felt like I've done uh, a lot to get to the point where I'm at, so I'm taking a risk, you know. But um, I feel like if uh, I deserve to be here and I need to, to beat him to, to show everybody. And uh, so far I haven't really uh, – made believers out of everybody, so I need to do that. I thought you were pretty adamant that the USC made a mistake in how they handled the title picture. Um, you know, now that you had a little time to think about it, I mean, you still feel pretty strong about that, that that was the wrong matchup to make? Oh, yeah, because Lamas would have beat uh, the zombie. Easy fight. Uh, the zombie's overrated. He doesn't deserve to be there. Uh, he hasn't fought the quality opponents that, that me and Lamas have, and that's just what I think. So what do you think should be next? Because now Lamas is waiting, assuming you get a win. Um, you know, you think you know how things are going to go down the title fight, I'm sure. I have no clue. You know, who knows uh, what happens with the Aldo fight? Uh, who knows if he moves divisions? Um, there's so many things that come into play. The only thing I can do is just go out there on Saturday and shine and uh, and really just make my case. Obviously, in the Jose Aldo fight, you get a chance to put your game out there. How badly do you want another chance, and what would you do differently? Um... I do a lot of things differently. I learned a lot mentally from that fight of how to prepare, how to go into things. Um, I've grown so much from that. So for anybody to think that would be the same fight is is ignorant, you know. Um, and uh, really, I feel like I owe the fans that fight, you know, and I owe myself that fight. I trained hard for it. I didn't get a chance to, to really perform, and uh, you know, it's just something I, I want. Uh, I didn't, I didn't run. I didn't change divisions. I didn't, you know, make any excuses. I got beat. You know, I put that on myself, and I want another shot. I'm not afraid of it. What if he does move up? I mean, ultimately, you want a title shot. Let's say he moves up, and it's you and Lamas for the title or whatever. Obviously, that's what you want, but would you feel like you lost something by not getting a chance to face Aldo again? Uh, no, because, you know, I've had plenty of time to, to get there, and uh, it took me a while. You know, I, I'm, I'm a big uh, believer, and I do things the hardest way possible, and I made things the hardest for myself. So... Um, I'm having to make believers out of everybody in me again, and uh, I'm trying to do that one step at a time, and ultimately getting a title fight is, is my goal, so um, that's that's my main concern. How much does the fact that you, you know, you've got your own gym out in the Indio or Palm Springs area, how much has your fostering younger fighters improved your own game? Um, it, before I didn't really have a, a purpose and a direction. I just did moves. If they worked, I used them. I never had to explain them to people. I never had to like really study how moves work and the body mechanics and angles and footwork. And uh, that's become like my specialty. Um, I'm a fight nerd. You know, I, I might not sound like it uh, all the time because when I'm in my killer mode, I just want to hurt people. But uh, when it comes down to it, I, I break things down. I watch video. Uh, I study fighters. I, I see what the newest moves are, what's working. And uh, I started doing that when I started helping fighters. I had to learn how to how to make somebody's skills beat another people's skills. And uh, I feel like, you know, I've learned a lot from Eric Paulson, learned a lot from Greg Jackson, and a lot from my boxing coach, Joel Diaz. And uh, luckily, I've been able to tutor under some of the, the greatest coaches. And I feel like I'm, I'll be a great coach myself. A lot of bonuses. The idea is that Dana might take them away. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, it's a bummer, man. It just, uh, you know, I, 
I feel like we should get uh, bonuses for finishing people, you know, in general, not just the best one of the night. Uh, because sometimes they're, you know, you're like, man, I really think I should have got it, you know. But I just think an incentive to go out there and go for the kill and put on that exciting performance. I mean, that's what matters the most, you know. I just, you know, that's what I have in my heart when I go out there. I just want to uh, perform. My last fight in, in London, I was like, man, I'm in Wembley Arena, co-main event. What an honor that is. I went out there going, I have to live up to this potential. I have to live up to this this honor that they that they gave upon me, and uh, that's what I tried to do. What have you done to mentally prepare for this fight? Uh, just focus on me. You know, I, uh, I I don't give my opponents too much credit. I know they're they're very good, but I believe in my heart that I'm the best, and I just feel like that the the better I prepare myself for me fighting my fight, that I'm unstoppable. I'm not going to try to prepare too much for my opponents crazy this or their takedown or their 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 jiu-jitsu or anything like that it's about me you know I, i'm working on my offense and how i'm going to win the fight and how i'm going to impress the fans and how i'm going to earn my title fight how detrimental can it be to over prepare for a fight uh that's huge i i used to do that and uh nowadays i i feel like i'm smarter I, i'm almost 30 and uh i finally uh learning a little bit you know 10 years in the sport and uh like my last fight, I, I trained the least amount possible. Like I trained hard, but I did, I, I held back a lot. And uh, I feel like I, I held back too much and I should have finished that fight. So this fight, I was hungry. I was like, I'm not gonna, I know what the least amount I can do is, and I know what doing too much is. So I'm gonna dial it in and I feel like I'm in incredible shape.